Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be flowing through a expansive and opening vinyasa flow. I, my apologies for the light. The sun is a little crazy today. There's lots of cloudy patches, so the light might be changing around. So if you don't mind that, then please stay around. It's going to be a very fun class. All right, we will get started in child's pose. You do not need any props for the practice, just yourself and your mat. So let's go ahead, open the knees up wide, bring the big toes to touch, and let's place the forehead down on the mat. And you can start by taking a deep breath in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And just taking these first few moments of the practice to arrive, letting go of anything that has happened today or during the week. Connecting to the rhythm of your breath without trying to control it just yet. So noticing how you're showing up in this moment. Noticing what it feels like to be alive in your body right now. Since this practice today is going to be about opening and expanding, maybe you would like to set an intention that relates to one of those topics. So maybe it's being open to new experiences, to love, to whatever resonates with you today. And I invite you today to express yourself, to not be afraid to add any variations that you would like to add to the practice to follow what feels right to you. And just knowing that your uniqueness is what makes you truly special. We will make our way forward into tabletop where you can immediately start to move in circles. So cat and cow, but adding circles in the spine. So imagine there's like a pole underneath your belly and you're trying to rotate your spine around that pole. Let's go for three more in one direction. Breathing in as you open up the front body, breathing out as you round. Last two. And last one, let's switch directions for five. And you can keep the eyes closed as you move here for three. And breathing out around the spine. And breathing in, let's come back to a neutral spine. Extend the right leg behind you, tuck the toes. Let's rock back and forth. Just stretching out the muscles in the right leg, the right toes, the right ankle. And then let's cross the right leg behind the left, push into right hand, look over left shoulder. And breathing in, look forward, let's extend right leg up. Right arm reaches up above your head. Bend the right knee, right hand can hold the right ankle. And breathing in, let's release. Just reach the right arm up and then bring the right hand down. Cross your right knee behind the left and let's push the hips back towards the heels, shoelace. And breathing in, let's move forward, untuck the toes. Tuck the toes and then we're going to lift the knees, floating a dog. So it's like upward facing dog, but the knees are lifted. Exhale, pull back and up, downward facing dog. And breathing in, let's round forward, high plank. Come all the way down to the belly nice and slowly. Tend the fingers, elbows point up. Breathe in, press into your fingertips, lift the chest. Really engage the glutes, engage the back muscles. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift for five. 
Exhale, lower. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Let's make our way to child's pose. And then back to tabletop. Rounded spine. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the chest open. Exhale, round your spine, just cat and cow. Three more rounds. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. And last one, breathe in. Exhale, round. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Extend your left leg behind you, tuck the toes, rock back and forth. And then we're going to cross left leg behind the right, push into your left hand, look over your right shoulder. And breathing in, look forward. Let's extend left leg up and back. Left arm reaches up to the sky, so we're open to the left side of the mat. Bend your left knee, let's hold the left ankle, open up the chest, open up the hip. Keep kicking into your left hand, so the heel away from your bum. And hold, squeeze shoulder blades together. Now slowly release, circle the left arm down and cross your left knee behind the right. Separate the feet a lot and let's press the hips back to the heels. And now we're going to move forward, floating dog. So think of upward facing dog, but the toes tuck. Breathe in, really squeeze inner thighs together, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, pull back from the hips, downward facing dog. Let's walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Think of waves in the body. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Come high on the toes, bend the knees. Let's sit the hips on the heels and then let's lower the knees down to the mat. Right hand will hold your right ankle. Inhale, lift the hips, left arm reaches up. Deep breath in here. Exhale, sit down on the heels, switch sides. Left hand on left ankle, inhale, reach. Exhale, sit down. Right hand, breathe in. Exhale, reach. So make sure the legs are engaged here as you move. Left hand, breathe in. Exhale, release one more time on each side. Right hand. Exhale, release. Left hand. Exhale, release. Bring both hands down. Make your way into a high plank. Exhale, slow motion, lower for three. All the way to the ground, two and one. Let's extend the right arm out to the right. Look to your left, bend your left knee and left elbow. And then let's roll onto the right side of the body. But this time, see if your left toes can almost touch your right hand. If you can hold on to the foot, go for it and you can relax your head down on the mat. Breathe deeply into the lower belly. Of course, if this is too deep and not comfortable, you do not have to go that deep. You can also keep your left foot flat on the mat. And then breathing out, let's come back onto the belly, switch sides, left arm reaches out, roll onto the left side, maybe catch your foot with your left hand. And breathe into the lower belly. Feel that stretch in the front of the right thigh. Feel the twist in the spine. And feeling the openness of the front body. One more breath. Exhale, come back onto the belly. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog in whatever way you want. And then from here, rolling dog, let's round forward, high plank. And bend the knees, pull back and up, downward facing dog. 
Exhale, round forward. Inhale, pull back and up. One more time. Right leg rises, breathe in. Let's hold it for three. Kick back and up for two. Straighten the legs more. One, level the hips. Exhale, right foot steps between the hands. Ground your left knee, Anjanasana, breathe in. Opposite hand to opposite elbow, let's grip. Breathe in, open up the chest. Exhale, side bend to the right. And then keep opening and lifting the chest. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release, interlace the hands. Breathe in, open up the chest. And then as you breathe out, release the hands, straighten the right leg, half splits, one breath. Left hand plants, right arm reaches up, extend the right leg back, drop the right foot. Let's extend the left leg out, fall and start and hold for three. And then breathing out, right hand comes down, let's make our way to a downward facing dog. Three rolling dogs again, breathe out, round forward, high plank. Breathe in, pull the hips back and up. Exhale, round. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, round. Inhale, pull back. Left leg rises, breathe in, hold for three. Try to find as much length through every single part of your body as you can. And then let's step that left foot through. Drop the right knee, Anjanasana. Opposite hand to opposite elbow. Inhale to lift and open the chest. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Trying to lift up and out of your waist, so not collapsing down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Interlace the hands at your lower back. Breathe in, open up the chest. And then breathing out, release the bind. Half splits. Plant your right hand. Untuck the right toes. Left arm reaches up. Extend your left leg back. Drop the left foot to the back of the mat. Lift your right knee, extend the right leg, fall and star. Maybe left arm reaches over your left ear to find more stretch. As you breathe out, left hand comes down, downward facing dog, step back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, let's come high on the toes. Bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Your sun salutation, your vinyasa of choice. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant the hands, step or jump back, chaturanga. We meet back in downward facing dog. Right leg rises, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose for three. Send it back for two. And one, right foot steps between the hands. Ground the left heel, warrior one. Hold. And here actively pulling the right hip back. Now we're going to make giant circles with the arms. So breathing in, let's open, maybe even find a bit of a back bend, squeeze the left glute a lot. Exhale, we're going to circle the arms down, chest leans forward so we graze the floor. Inhale, lift, open, exhale, circle down for three. Two. Two. 
Last one. Hands come down on the mat. Breathe in, look forward. Airplane pose, left leg reaches up and hold for five. And as you breathe in, stand up tall, left knee into the chest. Exhale, hands to the heart space, left foot plants. High mountain, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift to breathe in. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back. Chaturanga of your choice. Inhale here. Exhale. Left side, left leg rises. Knee to nose for three. Two. And one, left foot steps between the hands, ground the right heel, inhale, warrior one, hold. And make sure here that you never feel compression in the lower back, so we're never collapsing the vertebrae one on top of the other. We're supporting our spine with our core, trying to grow nice and tall. Inhale, let's open up the chest. Exhale, circle down. Inhale, open for four. Three. Two. Strong legs, last one. Good, fingertips find the floor. Airplane pose, launch off for five. Four, squeeze the shoulder blades together, engage your triceps more. Three, two, one, breathe in, right knee into the chest. Exhale, release, mountain pose. Inhale, high mountain again, lift up and out of your waist. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, your vinyasa. We meet back in downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Right leg rises. Knee to nose for three. Two. One, right foot steps through. Warrior one, breathe in immediately the circles. Exhale for three this time. Breathe in. Two. One, breathe in. Exhale, airplane pose. Inhale, stand up tall, left knee into the chest. Now let's drop the left knee by the right knee. Left hand holds the inside of your left foot. Inhale, right arm reaches up for dancer. Maybe kick into your left hand. Let's hold for five. Square the hips. Four. And slowly come up. Hands to the heart space, cross your left ankle over the right knee. Figure four, sink down. And let's release chair pose, inhale. Exhale, airplane chair for three. Whoops, <laughs> inhale chair. Exhale for two, keep your point of focus, not like me. <laughs> inhale, exhale, last one. High mountain rise. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Your vinyasa. Left leg, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose for three. Two. And one. Left foot steps through. Warrior one, three times circles for three. Inhale, rise. Two. One. Breathe in. Breathe out, airplane. Inhale, stand up tall. Prepare for dancer. Right knee by the left knee. Left arm reaches up. Slowly kick back. 
for five. And slowly come out, release, cross your right ankle over the left knee, figure four. Breathing in, chair pose. Exhale, airplane chair for three. Squeeze the knees together. Inhale, chair for two. And one. Now we're going to drop down on the heels. Make sure you have enough space in front of you. Crow pose with the option of headstand. Knees come really low on your elbows if you want to go into headstand. Crow. And then bend the elbows very slowly. Keep your weight back. Tuck the chin into the chest. Maybe lift up, headstand. And if you want to do headstand but not from crow, you can always come in another way. Add focus on your point in front of you. Try to stay nice and calm. Notice how different the world looks upside down. And think of what areas in your life you might want to bring new perspective to, a new point of view. We will slowly come out. If you want, you can lower one leg to the back of the mat, and then the other come through upward facing dog, downward facing dog as you breathe out. Make your way out safely in whatever way works for you. It's just an option. And two more breaths here. Notice how your body feels after headstand. And then we're going to walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Deep breath and halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, come onto your toes, bend the knees, drop the heels for camel. Let's lift, standing on both knees, hands come to your lower back, squeeze the glutes, press forward, squeeze shoulder blades together. Let's hold for 10, nine, maybe one hand at a time, and bring them down onto your ankles. And keep lifting up and out of the waist, keep pressing the hips forward for five, Four, three, two, and one. One hand at a time. Slowly make your way out. Untuck the toes. Sit on your heels. Close the eyes for a moment. Allow those sensations to pass. Notice whatever has come up. Maybe you feel a little bit more lightheaded, maybe a little dizzy. Try to bring your breath back down to normal, deepening and lengthening the inhales and the exhales. Focusing on the grounding beneath your feet, the contact with the mat. And we're going to blink the eyes open. Let's make our way into tabletop and then downward facing dog. The right leg rises. Let's step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Drop your left knee, lizard lunge. You can stay up on the, on the hands, maybe come down onto the elbows to make it deeper. And make sure that right knee is not opening up too much. So we're trying to pull the right knee into the right shoulder. And stay there for a few breaths. If you want to go deeper, you can come down to your elbows. Squeeze the glutes. Again, the center of your body is very engaged. Try to keep the spine long without rounding your back. Another five. Good. 
And then let's come on to the hands. Lift the left knee, lift, yeah, lift your left knee. Let's heel toe the right foot to your left wrist. Drop the right knee and make sure your right heel is very close to your left hip. Let's sit down and ground your left hip. So you're now facing the long side of your mat. Plant your right foot. So the right knee is pointing up, left leg is long. Left hand holds the right ankle, right arm reaches up and over. Imagine you want to touch your left toes and keep trying to pull that right hip down. And keep opening your chest, rolling your right shoulder open for three. And then let's cartwheel the hands up. Look towards the top of your mat, pivot into a lunge, step back, downward facing dog. Left leg rises. Left foot steps on the outside of the left hand. Ground the right knee. You can untuck the right toes, pull your chest forward. And you can stay there or you can drop your elbows down on the mat. And again, squeezing the glutes and actively reaching crown of the head forward, actively lengthening your spine. Slowly come back onto the hands. Lift your right knee. Heel toe the left foot over to your right wrist. Drop the left knee down and then really bring that left heel close. Let's roll so that you're grounded on both sit bones. Plant the left foot. Right hand can hold your left ankle and let's side bend over the right leg. And thinking of where you can use the breath to expand more, what part of your body you can engage more to find more space, and what part of your body you can maybe relax, like maybe the right shoulder is engaged and it really doesn't have to be. Slowly, let's come up. Cartwheel the hands down, pivot into downward facing dog. Step the left foot back. And we're going to make our way all the way up to the top of the mat, little steps. Bend the knees, let's roll up high mountain. Hands to the heart space. Big step to the back of the mat with the right foot. Let's turn the toes and heels out. Interlace the hands at your lower back. Breathe in, open up the chest. Exhale, let's fold forward. Prasarita with the bind. Try to bring your, hand, your weight to the front parts of your feet. Keep your hands together if possible. And if there's any pain in the shoulders, you can always grab opposite hand to opposite elbow or release the hands down to the ground. And let's release the hands now. Hold peace fingers around the big toes or hands around your ankles. See if you can fold a little deeper. And then any last play, maybe tripod headstand, maybe another inversion. Now's your time, last little moment to express yourself whatever you feel like doing. And breathing in, let's take a halfway lift. Turn your toes out, heels in, Malasana, Yogi squat. 
And you can move side to side, maybe even adding a twist. Just being very careful with your hips. Being very mindful as you move. Feeling free to add the arms. Whatever movement feels good. Not being so rigid. And then slowly come back through center. We're going to make our way down and then just turn to the top of your mat. Knees stay bent. Extend the arms one vertebra at a time. Come all the way down to the floor. And then let's make our way into plow pose. Feet above the head and maybe behind your head. And lifting the hips up and away from the face. And then very slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. And let's bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide apart. Recline butterfly pose. Hands can either stay on your stomach and chest or arms reach out to the sides. Let's take a few rounds of square breath to end things. So square breath, just imagine a square. You're going to breathe in for, we'll start with a count of four. Hold the breath for a count of four. Breathe out, count of four. Hold the breath for a count of four. Going around the square a few times. So let's breathe in and out to prepare, exclusively breathing through the nose, inhale. Exhale, let it all out. And then breathe in four. Hold. Breathe out four. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out, let it all go. And let's extend the legs, extend the arms, Shavasana. A few moments of stillness and silence here. Stay here for as long as you need. I 
as always, it was such a pleasure to practice with you today. I hope that you enjoyed the flow. I hope you feel really open and ready to take on the day ahead. I will see you next week for a new flow. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. Thank you so much. Namaste.